air infiltration in homes is caused from pressure differences. And these pressure differences can be caused by wind, from duct leakage, and mechanical equipment like clothes dryers and exhaust fans. Much of the air infiltration in homes takes place through the walls. Let's just take a look at where some of these places are. Around plumbing, around electrical wiring where they penetrate through the exterior of the wall, air conditioning line sets, telephone and cable boxes, and electrical panel boxes. And not to mention plates. Air infiltrating in around plates, as you can see here, can be significant amounts of air infiltration, both upper and lower plates. Now, air infiltration causes a couple of problems for us. First of all, energy. It takes a lot more energy to heat and cool a home when you have lots of air infiltration. This is because when wind and other pressure differences forces out the air that you've paid to heat and cool, your energy cost goes up. Secondly, as air infiltrates in through walls, it scavenges away heat. We call this wind washing. The effects of wind washing can be very significant. Some studies have shown that when you have a wind as little as 9 miles an hour, it can reduce the effectiveness of the insulation by as much as 63%. So we want to do a good job of stopping air from infiltrating in walls. Now the effects of air infiltration through walls can be demonstrated through infrared thermography. I'm on the inside of a home and what we're seeing here are different colors and the darker colors are the areas of greatest heat loss or the coldest temperatures. And what you can see here is, is air infiltrating in through the plate lines and reducing the surface temperature of the walls. Now this makes the walls colder, more susceptible to mold and mildew and other problems, but also it scavenges away heat which makes your energy bills higher. Now it's important to understand the difference between an exterior air barrier or wrap and an interior vapor barrier or as they're sometimes called vapor retarders. The purpose of a vapor retarder is to keep moisture inside the home so it doesn't permeate into the wall cavities. That stops moisture transfer by diffusion. Now there are two types of vapor barriers. One is craft backed insulation and the other is a plastic type vapor barrier. On the exterior of a home we use a wrap to stop air infiltration but we want that to be breathable. An example of this is if we have two beakers with some boiling water in them we can see that plastic over the beaker traps the water inside. But in the air barrier we want that to be breathable so as I take the glass and I pass it over the Tyvek you can see that the moisture permeates right on through. So what we want to have in a house wrap is one that stops air but is breathable. As we've just seen, there's a lot of places in walls where air can infiltrate in. In fact, if you were to add up all the cracks and gaps in a typical home, that'd be equal to a small window being open all year long. Now, a home wrap is a great way to stop air infiltration in walls.